So Me Sunshine's YouTube channel. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. It's Celia again and following on from Lisa and Jenny's picks, I'm going to be showing you my staff picks this week. So I'm going to be taking you through some of my favourite patterns and fabrics. Um, as before in my last staff picks, I said that I like to sew with a mixture of vintage patterns and contemporary patterns. So I'm going to be doing the same this uh, week. I'm going to be showing you some of the vintage patterns that I, li I like to use and then contemporary equivalents and then some fabric to match. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my outfit I'm actually wearing today, which is a full top and bottom matching set in this fantastic fabric, which is one of my favourites and I've talked about before. It's the Rainbow Atlantis. It's a visco slub. It's got a really nice drape. It's got a pretty good opacity and as you can see, I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing the Block Tee by Paper Theory. Um, it's a really great simple block tee. It's got this really nice detailing in it, front and back. It's really loose and it's really warm today. For a March day, it's very, very sunny in London at the moment. So I am, and I made this last night and I love it. And then on the bottom half, I'm wearing the Tula Pants by uh, Paper Cut Patterns and Jenny will put in a picture, but love them. And yeah, really comfortable matching sets, kind of like a fake jumpsuit and I'm really into it. So my first pattern I am going to talk about is actually one of my favourite jumpsuit patterns to make. It's a pattern from the 1980s, from 1986, and it's a pebble mill at one um, jumpsuit pattern. It's actually this jumpsuit here. I've made it a few times um, for myself and for friends, and it's really great because you can panel it. It's it's really easy. It's just lots of like long strips of fabric basically sewn together. And there's also these fa these patterns are really good because they you get lots of options as well from one pattern which I love. Um, and we thought a similar one was the, what used to be called the Yari, they've now changed it to the Rory jumpsuit and it's by True Bias and it's got a similar um, panelling to it. It's got the same pocket construction and um, which I really like because it's like got these big deep pockets on your legs. Um, and we've had a couple of new colours in of cotton linen um, and they're going to be going live this week. Um, and we thought it'd be really fun to colour block them so you could really have fun with all different colours and that seems to be quite sort of a vogue in the in the sewing world at the moment is to do lots of colour blocking and as you know I love colour blocking um, and these three colours look how nice they are so we've got the um, this is Viridian Blue and Sea Urchin we've had these two before but this Blue is just gorgeous. It's a new colour. Can't remember what it's called. What's it called, Jenny? We haven't named it. We haven't named it yet. Um, but it is <laughs> really, really beautiful. And these three colours together, mm, love it. Next up, well, I'm going to talk to you about a dress that I really like. It's this Simplicity dress. It's from 1973. It's got this beautiful button detailing down the front and then a little gathered shoulder. Um, it's got a tie on the back as well and you can make a pair of matching trousers, which is love a matching set. But I think when I make it, I'm actually going to make it about um, sort of halfway down between my knee and my ankle, mid, sort of make it a midi dress. And it's, um, I thought it was really similar to the Tyka dress by Named Patterns. I thought it'd be really nice to make it in this black dotty fabric. It's a viscose. It's got a really beautiful drape. Um, it's got pretty good opacity and um, I just thought it would look really fab. I mean, the uh, model on the front of this is wearing a polka dot dress. I think it's polka dot and it just looks fab. Now, as I have already said, I do love a matching set and this extends to trouser suits. I don't have that many opportunities to wear a trouser suit, but I do love them. And in early 2020, I made a trouser suit, this trouser suit in a old pair of set of curtains that I was given. Um, but now I work at Somi Sunshine. I think it would be really nice to update this. This pattern's from the 80s. It's a really great, it's very simple actually because it's an unlined jacket. Um, but I wanted to update it with some new um, fabric and I thought florals for spring, groundbreaking. Um, and this Rifle Paper Co is so gorgeous. It's a cotton canvas. And it's got a really nice weight to it. And as I said, you can make online jackets in it, trousers, dungarees, dresses, whatever you want, really. But um, it's so gorgeous. And an updated uh, version of that trouser suit from the 80s, we thought 
would be really great is the Heather Blazer by Friday Pattern Company. It's a kind of oversized blazer similar to the one that I made. Um, and the Ina trousers from Named, which is another one of the new Named patterns we've had in. It's been really, really popular. I've seen some really, really cool versions of these coming out on Instagram. Um, and so this combo in this fabric, can't wait to make it. I love a one piece. So I like a bodysuit, I like a leotard, I like a jumpsuit. For my next selection, this pattern has all of those things. So I have actually made this, this pattern, the pink one on the left here. Um, I made it in green velvet. It's a bat wing leotard. Um, I can't recommend it enough. So nice. Um, but actually what, I'm what I think I'm gonna make next is this one on the right, which is a full length kind of sweatsuit, I suppose you might call it. I don't know, that doesn't sound very appealing. But it's like a, it's like a tracksuit, but it's all in one. Um, and we've got some really fun glitter fleece back jerseys, um, which I don't know if you can see this, if it's ca catching it on the screen, but this green is such a gorgeous color and it's got a really warm fleecy inside. Just imagine this glittery one piece off the shoulder bat wing glorious also though i thought hmm love to pattern block love to color block might add in a stripe maybe on one leg maybe the top half who knows but yeah these can't this together oh what a combo however granted you may not be into wearing a sweat shirting like jumpsuit so alternatively you could make a sweatshirt and some uh sweatpants or tracksuit trousers depending on where you're from um and our selection for that is the hudson pant from true bias and the linden sweatshirt from Grainline. um both really nice patterns to make really easy um you can either um get some ribbing or you can self-rib um it's up to you. So yeah, that is my selection for sweatshirting. For my next choice, I have chosen yet another jumpsuit pattern. I love a jumpsuit. They're really good for this time of year. You can layer them up um, or you can just wear them as is. It's a full outfit, on, go, don't have to worry about it. Um, so my first choice is this from the Make It Easy um, sewing pattern collection. These are really fab. You can get them on eBay, Etsy. Um, they're really brilliant. There's loads and loads of them as well. Um, and you get lots and lots of variations in one pack and you get a free easy make, which doesn't need a pattern, which is always brilliant. Um, so the one that I'm gonna, what I would like to make is this jumpsuit on the front or this one here. And it's got a yoke across the front and the back. And we've got this really groovy, um, reversible denim in at the moment. It's got a tiny bit of a stretch to it and it's a kind of pale, very pale blue on one side and then this really nice um, blue on the other, a uh, uh, dark blue on the other side, which kind of looks, I don't know, it's got this really nice quality to it where it kind of changes color slightly. It's the tone changes when you move it, um, which I think is really amazing. And I've seen a lot of people on the train recently wearing uh, trousers that are made in one colour and then they've got kind of almost like panels like cargo pan knee panels kind of running down the front in a different shade really into that so I thought it might be quite cool to make um, a jumpsuit in this but then have like the yoke in a different in the in the other side reverse it play around with the different um, sides of the fabric and the um, we've got two options for a kind of contemporary alternative. The first one is the factory dress by Merchant and Mills. This is a really nice sort of shirt dress. Doesn't have any buttons or anything on it um, with these little short sleeves, um, little pocket detailing, and it's got, um, and you can, you could play around with this reversible nature of this fabric with that. The other option is the Olia shirt. Um, which we don't have in stock at the moment, but it's coming back into stock next week by Paper Theory. Um, and that's got a yoke and quite a lot, quite often, 
um, people will have stripes going in all different directions, they'll have different patterns and things for the Olea shirt, so that's another really um, great pattern that you could use both sides of this fabric for. Following on from my jumpsuit suggestion, um, I have a wrap dress which I made in a blue sequin fabric um, last summer uh, and I really loved making it. This is the easy, very easy Vogue um, American Designer Original. It's an Edith Head um, pattern. It's a wrap dress and then it's got a sash around the middle. Um, it's a really great, I made it in, as I said, the blue sequins, which I lined, but it's actually, you don't need to line it at all, it's just that fabric was incredibly see-through. Um, and I really like this, the idea of making it in three different colours. We've got loads and loads of different colours of the Meat Milk uh, Tensile Twill, um, and it's the Smooth Drape Twill. And we've, I think we've pretty much got the full colour range now. And we've actually got, the, they've just released two new colours. They are called Punch and Aqua. Um, and this is the punch colour. It's a really gorgeous pink. And I thought this for the skirt, then the, this colour is called Shell. This for the top half. So this for the bodice, this for the skirt. And then this, which is called Pecan, for the sash in the middle. It's such a nice combo especially as the sun comes out and it warms up now as um, it is warming up we do also have um, a new range of voiles that have come in from meat milk in similar colors I think we've got six different colors at the moment and they are called the Vida voiles and they're really really nice and I'm going to show you them right now um, again this is the color punch and it is a really beautiful whoop, lightweight voile it's got pretty good um it's got sort of semi opaque it's really drapey and we've got a, lots of different colors so you could also um make uh this sort of dress in um in this fabric as well and the contemporary equivalent i thought I'd, we'd show you today is the hannah dress by By Hand London. Um, it's a wrap dress, it's really beautiful. Um, there are lots and lots of examples of this online. It's really, really popular. And if you wanted to, you could also make, a, you could color block it and you could make a sash to go around the middle um, to cover up that seam. And I think it would look really, really nice. The waistcoat at the moment seems to be having a bit of a renaissance, which is great to see. We love to see it. And um, I particularly wanted to make a, a waistcoat out of corduroy. Um, we've got all these different jumbo cords and needle cords um, in stock at the moment. And this is a really fun, beautiful dark green color. Um, it's kind of uh, in on this kind of spectrum of greens. Um, it's kind of more towards the blue end rather than the yellow end. Um, and it's, it's just a really gorgeous deep color. And I thought I'd quite like to make a high, uh, a button up um, waistcoat that's kind of quite a high neck. Um, and I've got this very easy Vogue pattern from, I would say probably the 1980s, um, maybe even the 70s. It's got a square armhole, patch pockets. It does say on the back needle cords um, and lightweight woolens, but I am one to go slightly off pieced with my my fabric choices. I don't always stick to the fabric suggestions because I tend to think that sometimes they can get in the way of your sewing dreams. Obviously, you know, go with what you want. So, but, and I'm not veering too far away with jumbo cord versus needle cord. However, I would really like to make one of these and I'd quite like to, even though this pattern calls for it to be unlined, I think I'd quite like to line it with something like one of our Co um, Robert Kaufman um, flannels or something really warm. I've got, I think I've got some um, interlock at home. That'd be really nice as well. Just so I can chuck it on underneath my coat. Um, there are a number, we don't have any waistcoat patterns at the moment, but there are a number of waistcoat patterns that have come out really recently. The new Craft House has just released one and also Merchant and Mills has just released one. So um, yeah, can't wait to see everyone making waistcoats. My final pick for this week is another jumpsuit and it is the Woman's Hour Summer Flying Suit. Um, I've got 
a saved search on eBay for vintage jumpsuit patterns. So that's why I've got loads of them. I love them, I like making them. They're always a really good shape. Um, this one's really cool. It's got um, a gathered waist. It's got, a, they're gathered onto the shoulder seams and it's also got a center back pleat. Um, obviously pockets, loads of them. Um, and I really like this pattern. The uh, contemporary equivalent that we've gone for is the Thelma um, by Merchant and Mills. Um, it's got lots of the same details actually, it's slightly less fitted, um, however the fabric that we have gone for is this um, ex-designer dead stock from Italy that we've got, it is a stretch cotton sateen, it's got really really good opacity, it's this beautiful floral on this sort of charcoal grey background. Um, it would look really great running down the side of um, the legs of the whole body really on the jumpsuit it's it does have a bit of stretch to it but um, we were just talking about this and Jenny has suggested that any bits that you don't want to stretch out so collar the cuffs the waist you can just stick a bit of interfacing in and it won't shift um, and it also makes it easier for sewing so yeah just I just really, I'm really into florals at the moment, so um, I just really like the thought of this as a jumpsuit. So to finish off today, I'm going to tell you about a new pattern that we've received from Tilly and the Buttons. It is the Erin dungarees. Um, they're a really nice relaxed dungaree with tie um, shoulder straps, um, which is in fashion at the moment with dungarees. Um, they've got a couple of different leg lengths in here, and you can make them out of woven or knit fabric so there's lots and lots of options and scope out there and um, you could either make them kind of smart and snazzy super loungy comfy um, and as I said there's different le um, leg lengths adjustable ties and um, yeah they're really cool and I've seen a lot of really nice examples of this coming out on the internet so we've got these in stock now um, and obviously we've got all the fabric as well Thank you so much for tuning in this week to watch my picks. They, one of the other team members will be ne here next week to show you theirs. Um, we really appreciate all of your orders, so thank you so much. We also love to see what everyone's making, so don't forget to tag us in your makes on social media using the uh, hashtag Sewing Sunshine, and you can also send us an email. It means that we can see if what we imagine people are making is matching up with what they're actually making with the fabrics they get from us. Um, so yeah, don't forget to tag us and comment below and tell us what kind of content you'd like to see across these platforms as well, because um, we love to have feedback as well. So thanks again for watching. Bye!